Majesty King Rabbit, oh. what's this? Ooh. Been here, been there, same Long shy. Head. Head. You know what they say about you, Lot? Please seek justice. I will help. Thick as me arm. What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. I'd have sailed back to Point Lance Long Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bra. Mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably Catarch. insane. Mark of the devil. The test, apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. I just ah! sail back. Watch where you step. What do you have to say? To me! To me! What do you have to say? That's a horse for Sylvie. You're a daughter. Why do you ask? Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that. It'd be like living in Clover. 
trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm, nothing interesting. Just you wait. The witch hunters will see to you. Oh! Cat eyes. Mark of the devil. I won't talk with you. What do you have to say? Fish chowder for supper of the day. That true? Who told you? No one. Have we not met before? In Long oh. Point. Pick your pardon. Through the western gate the morning. Well, well, Saw Martin Richard. on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah. Cat eyes. If only Mark of the devil. Oh. On the garden, Black milk. Pier near the western gate. <laughs> Should be easy enough to find. Ah. Oh. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? to do what what's going on here in deep play master casimir sat upon his roof claims he'll blow himself to bits by the wind's pearls silks satins and how the fuck she repaid me made me a heat banger cuckold huh a falling out in the family i his euphemia she were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon. And that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging. Now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. 
going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad! I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail Melitim, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lightly come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose, then ran off! My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Get down. Now. What? Oh. Coming. I'm coming. So, uh, what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door, permanently, so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland Street. See ya! Defeatism and desertion. Anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does not look good. Someone knocked their head on this beam. 
Open cut. sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline. Sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline.
Oh. Fave, Geralt of Riviera, I presume. Heard? He finally met his oh, dad. Some cutthroats of Witcher, I think. Say. Junior is here. Oh. Ah. So, looking at cheer about his eyes. You choked to death on three Why? pounds of steel. He'd stolen so much, killed so many. Oh. <laughs> That's it, Roach. Show me what you got. Trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine. Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself. Did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. Not a soul can be trusted. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. Let me guess. There's a monster needs killing. Somewhere, certainly. But not here. May I finish? Or would you rather keep guessing? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van? And I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow. Hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And 
now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Prime! What? But I... Shh, Geralt, grab your husband and get to work. Audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Gotta hide out. Purplest hut near Oxenfurt. Stones throw away. Ask for extract of Yarrow. He'll let you in. Hmm. Couldn't you just take me there? Why not? Let's go. Ha! Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist, it's no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Have a line, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I know for. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except... what if something goes wrong? 
Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of salt, peter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. <sighs> Great. Aye, but you could. Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I... Right, diamond again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mast? has got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah. One last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this ovary nail, and I'll kill you with my own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. It's clear. On your way. City foul shite all over again. What? Not so. Patrol's done in red. We've one minute. Move! Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. 
You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Yes? Letters must be old. String seems to say so too. It was true love. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting. Pr Watch this. Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We are buggered. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! Ah! Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself! No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. 
So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon, and horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then. What kind? We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right. I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. triggered that fight. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Where's Eveline? She's fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. We've no time. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Mm, no takers, no sale. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass. Hallowed words, mate. Adam!
I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you owe. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. <laughs> Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bang. Like a beast. And you've the cheek. To plead. Take that! Satisfied? Exceptionally! You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas. But he's free to choose anything else. Gents. Gents. Keep calm. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. Hmm. <sighs> Dumb. But have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, at your service, mate. Casimir, stand with me. I'll make you my treasurer. Your salary in the thousands, mate. Sorry, Geralt. Coin's coin. No two ways about it. Why well, is smart?
Jesus. The Damians will be here soon. Damn it, secret passage. Where is it?
Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Pricey, eh? Stay out of my way. A devil walked a crooked path, his heart a full of iron. How much for a herring? Crown a herring. No <laughs> Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. I keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Livid. He's not. No. He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane. And then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss orders aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? They kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. 
that Horst Borsoldi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's soul. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled, then had another tanker. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. A theory was a Dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt, prance about feigning danger, but my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. The mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olkir von Everick, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. But a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. This dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. <laughs> You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? 
I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. In no mood for a heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Know what I think? I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations, as I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. That some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. Problem is, I don't know the road to care more. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Cut the shit, Olgird. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her at last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Ah. Ah.
Long live accept. Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Take care now. I need a good plow. Choke to death on three pounds. Ah! Oh, now she is a oh. Oh. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. Come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. In all right. By order of the hierarch, it's clear as the eternal fire.
must be hundreds of whales here. More. The legends are true. They've been swimming here to die for ages. When the king of the whales was dying, Hemdall himself guided him here, so he could die looking at the setting sun. From then on, whales have come here to die, just like their noble ancestor. Fresh smile upon you. What do you want from me? It's clearing up. John. I'm no trout that must get to its spawning ground. I should do what I please, hmm. now leave me be. <laughs> hmm. Which one? I want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. <laughs> you? <laughs> My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> That's so. Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, letter A. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics. Choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. I'd be a good student. Doubtful. You can't even grasp the simple notion that I want you to leave. Hmm. Though I am preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well, there's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. 
First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan Forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fritjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Hmm. A pimpernel. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Morskoden forest. And if the rumors are true... A creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Spirit. Why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. This spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. <sighs> Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. This Fritjof, who is he? A Veda maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Veda maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind.